Good morning fellow Vitaly people. It is day nine of NaNoWriMo. Yesterday I took a break. I did only the tiniest amount of writing uh, because I can't lose my streak on the website. No, I can't. So basically just went through project theft and filled in some missing bits from some scene outlines, which I did not complete during Preptober. Oops, I still haven't done it, but we did some. <laughs> so I managed to update yesterday to keep my streak. We're all good, we're all dusted. We are one project down. We finished Abington House at 44-ish thousand words, shorter than I wanted it to be, still fine in total. Day off and today we are starting Project Theft. Project Theft, it, I'm a little bit nervous to start Project Theft little bit. I've just come off of writing a middle grade which is a lot different than writing a YA and also this story is I suppose the most YA I have ever written or ever planned to write. Now what I mean by that is most of my stories that I write are YA. They are <sighs> One of them reads as a younger YA, there's not a lot of romance, there's not a lot of darkness or dark themes or anything like that in there. It's very sort of nice, calm, the characters are 15-ish years old, which is Project Faith. Project Body Swap is slightly older, but again, I don't really delve deep into all of the darkish themes that I could do within that story. It's still a relatively, you know, clean story with clean-ish, apart from the fact they're evil characters, you know? Project Theft definitely has darker themes in it. Um, not that we see much of them, but in certain characterizations the themes are darker i'm going to try to go darker with themes and with the plot and sort of i have an idea of it in my head <laughs> i can't explain what that idea is i want it to feel more like a ya that i'm used to reading aka similar to similar to uh, the sort of vibe of Six of Crows, sort of that sort of style, that sort of content. It's not as dark as Six of Crows, but that characterization, the depth, sort of, I'm, I'm going for that. And I've never written that before. So that's nerve wracking. We have literally, I've only just literally just written the opening for it, which I'm, I'm actually happy that I came up with this opening because I was very worried about how I was going to write the opening lines to this. I think the opening lines I've got, they sort of fit the tone, which is fantastic. The opening line, it's a paragraph, but I'm only going to read you the opening line. But there's nothing quite like listening to the magic in the air. So I'm like, okay. So that's the opening line as it is so far. I like it. We're good. We have 23 days, 22 days, just over 20 days to write project theft. Obviously my whole goal for NaNoWriMo is 100k. My motivated goal is to completely finish Project Theft, which I'm going to estimate is going to be around 70,000 words. So 70,000 words in about 20-ish or so days. Um, I, I just like doing this to myself. Don't ask me why. It just happens. 22 days, 70,000 words, that's around 3,000 words per day, which is not a difficult feat. For me, I can do that in an hour and a half if I really focused. What we want to see is if my motivation will stay for the entirety of the rest of November and f ready for me to crash in December. <laughs> because of all the crazy writing I've been doing. But here's the plan for today. I want to finish chapter one and start chapter two that's three scenes i want to get through today i have a whole host of live streams 
to get me through the day except for a tiny couple of hours at about one o'clock where there is nothing because I'm British and there's never anything in the early afternoon for me to watch. We're gonna drink some tea, we are going to eat some breakfast and we are going to get to writing and hopefully it will all go okay. As you can see, I got cold. I am also still dressed in my pajamas. Not not for lack of not getting dressed into clothes. I had to in order to do the uh, the school run. Uh, but the second I got home, I was back in my pajama trousers for comfort at my desk and cold. So technically, we're still in the middle of a sprint with the right mama, who's doing her very early for her at least, but nice on time for me morning sprints uh i'm just let me stop for a minute because i just can't it's not that i can't focus i'm paying too much attention to quality and character than i usually do for a first draft so i thought i'd stop and talk about it because it's not like me to do so, and I don't like doing it, but it's working. Like, it's not quite slowing down my progress. It's quarter to 12. I've been writing for almost an hour and a half, and I'm at 1,500 words. So it's not affecting my productivity, which doesn't usually happen. So I'm very happy at the moment that it's all sort of working out for me. I guess. Yeah. We are moving on from the opening image scene for Save the Cat and we are heading into theme stated. They technically take place in the same scene, in the same chapter. They're just on my scene outline. They're set up as two separate scenes just so I can differentiate between the two beats. And we're, we're doing okay. We're doing good. I have established character, I think, and relationship between Lane, the main character, and her grandmother, and her brother, and her father. And we're, we're looking okay, which I, I don't like for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's working, but it just feels weird because it's not how I go about things at all whatsoever. So <laughs> my plan is to hopefully try and finish chapter one by two o'clock, which is when I have to leave the house. And then two to four is my busy pick up husband from work, kids, school, run, home, homework, etc, etc time. So the more I can finish before then, the less I have to do later in the evening. I don't have a stupid, stupid word count goal now for the rest of the month. So I have more time to do stuff I want to do, which I'm very, very excited about. So we've got another five minutes left of this sprint. So we're going to see what we can do in that time and then head over to the Discord server and do some more spins there so I can continue writing. My tea is also more or less cold, which I'm not impressed about, but we're going to, we're going to drink it anyway. Nah, nah. Okay, it is currently 20 past day. Um, I haven't written anything since I last updated uh, because I just haven't been in the right mindset. Like, I need to write, but I can't figure out what it is that I need to write, which I absolutely hate. So I'm trying to get everything finished that I want to finish now. I need to hit at least 
3,000 words to be on track for the 70k for the rest of the month. So hopefully we'll be able to get it done and I can sort of get out of this sort of it's a new project I'm going so slowly now sort of thing. We're on 2,665 words so not much left to write which is is is, is absolutely fine. We're currently with Kate Kavanagh on her Twitch stream slash also in the Discord server, having some fun over there. I've done chapter one. Chapter one is finished. It's shorter than I wanted it to be, 3,000 words. Again, it's not an issue. And I'm currently just starting chapter two, which is a different POV. I've just done Lane's POV. Now we're in Cambridge's POV. So I need to now, I want to get into so many different characters' heads during this entire project theft, which is going to be a pain in the butt, but we're going to make it work. I'm going to make this multi-POV trilogy work this time. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to fail like I have in the past. We're going to make it work. So I've got my tea. I think I need something, something to boost me. Chocolate, maybe. I do have some. And we are going to get this next 400 words on this project, on this number two thing, words I don't have, just, okay, we're just, we're just going to go, we're just going to get to work. Okay, we are now at 3,225 words. I have a chapter now which does not have any dialogue in it at all whatsoever at the moment because Cambrie is on her own thieving around London. And I don't know what it is about me and writing chapters that don't have any dialogue in them. It's not the first time I've done it. I doubt it will be the last time I do it. It's just something so weird about the fact that there's no dialogue at all whatsoever. Can't deal with that now, unfortunately. There's no one else to stick in this scene with her. So she's just going to have to be on her own. And we're just going to have to sort of get her her thoughts on, on on what's going on and how she's doing things it's okay it's okay we're, we're slowly getting into it slowly I wasn't bothered yesterday and that's all I'm gonna say about it. We did okay yesterday. I uh, got around 3,100 words, I think, which is more than the 3,000 I need per day to hit 70k for the rest of the month. Not as much as the 3,333 that I wanted to do, but I got stuff done, so it's fine. We we also hit 50k yesterday, which I'm so, so excited about. 51,000 words. Technically, yesterday was hit. I've technically won NaNoWriMo now. No, not technically. I have won NaNoWriMo now, which is fantastic. But we still have 49,000 more words to write. At least. To hit my 100,000 words. We are well into Project Theft. Yesterday... Because it was a new POV and there wasn't much dialogue, it was very difficult for me to sort of start getting into the second POV, which was Cambry. We, I did some work in the morning, not a lot, 
took like the entire day off and then did some more work during Kate's live stream last night, which which was very helpful. <laughs> um, I hit a couple more live streams after Kate's finished. Well, got the words in that I needed to, that I wanted to, which is fine. I finished chapter two, started chapter three, and we are well on our way now to what is probably going to be quite a short chapter three. Uh, I might need to add more at the beginning <laughs> because at the moment, and I'm more or less three quarters of the way through the chapter from what I've outlined, but only at, oh my God, if I can get the donut washi tape off my screen, it's sticking quite well. It never sticks this well. Oh my Lord. 1,634. So I'm guessing the chapter is going to be over at about 2,000 words, which isn't terrible. I like to hit between 2,500 and 3,000 words per chapter when I'm writing YA because it just seems like a decent length for people to read. So... Obviously, I'm not going to worry about it now. <laughs> I'll worry about that later, but I do know that I need to add in a little bit more at the beginning to sort of get things going. I'm still not fast drafting like I usually fast draft. I am sort of still taking care about what it is I'm putting in and trying to add as much character and inner thought as I can in this first draft, which is very weird for me. Descriptions and setting are still lacking, though. I can't do everything at once, but I am doing my darndest to try and improve character on the first go round, just to make things easier. So it's not slowing me down too much. So I'm going to keep at it until it slows me down a lot. And then I'm just going to have to be like, okay, I give up. Let's just fast rough the hell out of this thing and deal with consequences later. Future me can sort it out. It's fine. I've got like half an hour till the very first live stream that I can do. Which is with Moon Bunny Creative, I don't have anything until 11 o'clock, my time, which is like, that's when the baby's awake. It's not when I need the live streams, but that's the best I can do, given the circumstances. I have a live stream later on this evening with Estelle Vandervelde, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm going to do some riding sprints, we're going to have some chats, it's going to be fun. Might make an appearance in the uh, sprint discord as well, I didn't yesterday, I wasn't bothered. Uh, with, with all the extra typing to do, not when I wasn't feeling up for writing lots and lots, but I might give it a go today. I want to finish chapter, this is chapter three, isn't it? I want to finish chapter three today. I'm going to finish chapter three today. Like there's no way around it. It's going to happen. And I want to also get most of, if not all of chapter four finished as well. I'm gonna get my tea, which has got a little hat on. Look at it, it's so cute. That's what it looks like that side I don't know why I really because I'm right-handed and I hold my tea mug like this obviously I really hate it when there's only a design printed on one side which is would be the left side which is not the way I drink my tea so I can't show off my mugs properly unless I drink from this side that's a bit too hot and it's just awkward so why they don't print on both sides, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna get, gonna get some more work done. See how much we can write before the baby wakes up. Okay, I haven't vlogged at all today, but um, this is what is currently going on in the uh, <laughs> Discord server, which is like, what is going on, Sprinto, right now? I just, I don't know. We've derailed. We've derailed and I don't think there's any coming back. You see how at the end there I got very, very bad at vlogging my progress, which was... <laughs> it was terrible, it was terrible, but I was, I was struggling to like write normally and not second guess myself. So I was just like, I don't need to vlog this progress because there is no progress. There was a little bit of progress last night. I hopped onto the sprint server as you saw and managed to get 4,000 words for the day so hallelujah you guys over there really helped me out. We are at 58,054 words now for the month. This speaking day now is the 13th, Friday the 13th. Hmm. 
we had an okay-ish sort of a difficult time getting into it hopefully it's going to be a little bit better now going forward part of the issue is i think the fact that it's different voices and different povs but i think once i've written each pov for a couple of chapters it should be easier for me to get into them which i'm looking forward to so i'm going to end this here i'm very sorry i didn't vlog more we are going to get to some writing and we've I might not vlog so much today the 13th but we are in for a full day of vlogging on the 14th let me warn you now so yeah hopefully Nana Rima is going okay for the rest of you guys and I'll see you next time